Okay, so this amazingly stunning R34 GTR is now back from Autobahn Auto Body. Let's uh, take a look. back from Autobond. Oh my God, it looks amazing. I really hope you guys can appreciate how amazing this car looks on camera because all of us laying eyes on it and just kind of drooling over it, we've had to kind of wipe off all the drool marks on it. It really came out amazing. Phil and his team over at Autobond Auto Body um, have done work for me for, for about 24 years. And same crew, believe it or not. A few people have changed, but for the most part, it's the same staff. Being in the body shop business for many, many years, owning several body shops over the years, you know, you really have an appreciation and respect for a shop whose team works so cohesively together.
car left for Autobond, you'll remember that it went pretty much looking like this, but in white. The guys over there just literally took everything apart and every little piece was prepped. All the parts were spread out over many tables. Each part was addressed and prepped appropriately. Those parts went into the spray booth where they were painted separate. Being that this is a deepest black, solid black that you'll ever see, it's kind of uh, Autobahn's special black configuration and it is the deepest, richest black I've ever seen. It's one of my favorites. I've had a few cars painted from Autobahn using this special formula that's their own special formula of black. My God, you can't get any blacker than this. When they had all those parts spread out and, and prepped and addressed, then the car went into the heated spray booth. It is a downdraft heated up to about 140 degrees and it just requires very little color sanding and buffing when you heat up the body and prep the car the way these guys do all their prep work. It, it truly is amazing. The end product is just, it'll leave you speechless. Way better than a factory OEM Nissan paint job. All Nissan paint jobs have a little bit of orange peel. None of that stuff exists on this paint. They just took the time, had all the parts spread out, body rolled in, the doors, trunk, hood, bumpers, all those things were painted separately off the car. Being that the fenders and doors were off meant that you have beautifully clean door jams with no tape lines or any of that stuff present. And then the reassembly process took place.
It is now back. Uh, we've been afraid to touch it because it looks like it's wet. The lines on this car are just laser straight. So it was a color change. This was originally a, a white uh, GTR. This is a true R34 GTR. I know it looks like a GTT because of those skinny little tires. Again, these are the wheels and tires that we put on our cars that we are rolling around, moving in and out of the shop. I'm just truly blown away by how amazing the quality of this paintwork is. Right down to the door jams, the doors were removed, the fenders were removed, the hood, the deck lid, everything was removed when this car went in for paint and as it should. Under the hood also was painted body color. We didn't leave it satin or semi-gloss and it looks amazing under there as well. Not surprised because of where it came from, but as you can see, when this thing has a absolutely stunning, shiny, brand new gritty and all the carbon bits and pieces and the turbos and <laughs> it's just gonna be insane. It's gonna be truly insane. So the client for this car, he actually bought one of my old GTRs about 17 years ago, 18 years ago. And it was a black car that Autobahn painted for me and ultimately ended up in his hands. He has since sold that car and wanting to relive some of his youth, like we all do, and in doing so, commissioned us to, to build him another car.
owner and I have been going back and forth. We were talking about a S-tune bumper. We were talking about a Z-tune bumper. And the thing that both of us, the client and myself, love about an OE bumper is this kind of bulbous shape that kind of follows the hood down and it and you know the s-tune and the z-tune bumpers are pinched right here i just really like this look mind you an s-tune bumper has a few more intakes um, the z-tune bumper has larger mouths now you'll notice that this doesn't look like a stock oe bumper because of these big openings right here and these extraction vents on the sides Nismo makes an aftermarket part that you see in a lot of Japanese cars, which is an intake for your oil cooler, uh, along with an extraction vent on the side that you cut out and you just kind of glue it on. We ended up buying both sides, so it was symmetrical in terms of its appearance. We didn't want them just kind of glued on the bumper. We actually wanted it to look like it came from the factory that way. So we went ahead and molded them in place uh, so it just has a cleaner look while still retaining the stock OE appearance. We also talked about side skirts and the client really wants to keep this car relatively OE looking. Uh, obviously it's going to be lowered to the ground. It's going to have the beautiful wheels and tires and brakes. Now that it's back, interior is probably going to be the next project and we should have that back from our upholstery shop any day now. All the glass is going to be reinstalled and then drivetrain. Oh my God. The Goretti motor that, that Alex acquired is the third one spit out from Gretti. The thing that's going to be amazing is this really truly is a jewelry case because when you pop the hood on this thing, pop the hood. That thing is just going to just scream. The brake kit, the wheels, the tires, the suspension, the amazing Alcantara and leather work that's going into the interior. This is going to be one hell of a build.
And let me tell you, the quality of this paintwork, it rolls over into the upholstery guy. Alex from MST is gonna show up here and he's gonna look at this paintwork and he's gonna think, holy crap. It's gonna make him take more pride in the interior work. Not that he's gonna do it any differently, but it just, it changes the level of pride in working on a car when you start with something as stunning as this. Adrian is gonna be here on Monday. He didn't see the car actually come back from the paint shop. He's gonna walk in and he has an appreciation just like we all do for good paint work. He's gonna be elated to see this. And that honor of working on something that's just really super nice uh, carries over onto all the other aspects of the build. So I'm looking forward to seeing this thing done and completed, you know? What do you guys think? Do you like it? Would you have gone the Z-Tune route? Because that was, that was talked about, you know, Z-Tune having that guild hood, which is pretty cool. You know, the side skirts, we still have them. We actually had them painted for this car and he ultimately said, let's keep them off for now. He's going with the, the stock look. What would you have done? Would you have done a Z-Tune build? Would you have kept it bone stock? You know, mind you, it's gonna be lowered. It's gonna have a really nice splitter on it. It's gonna have, you know, an unbelievably well-fit LMGT4s on it. And it's gonna make monstrous horsepower. I'm sure you already know that it's getting a sequential gearbox. And if you don't, maybe I just spilled the beans. <laughs> it's gonna be a monster of a car. Can't wait to share the rest of this build with you guys. So enough of that, let's get this thing back together.